Ready? Learning to play tennis is hard enough. Now try it when you can't see. That's what these students are doing at the California School for the Blind. They're learning a form of tennis adapted for the visually impaired. I've done pretty good. At first, it got hard. Like I try to make sure the tennis ball goes across the court, but、um, I still keep hit, hitting the wall and stuff. But it's going pretty good. Blind tennis features a smaller court, lower net, and junior rackets with bigger heads and shorter handles. Players use a special foam ball filled with beads that rattle when they're hit. They would think, "I can't do that. No way can I do that." And then they come to the school, and we teach them how to play tennis, and they're like, "That is the coolest! I love this game." Blind tennis was invented in Japan in the 1980s by Miyoshi Takei. He dominated the sport until his death last year. It's now widely played in Japan and is gaining popularity throughout Asia. The California School for the Blind is one of three American schools that teaches adapted tennis. The state-supported school offers its students many sports and activities, but none of them is as difficult as tennis. So the hard part is being able to locate it on the first strike, move and intercept it, and hit it back before the third one comes. And they have to do that completely based on hearing, and that can be very difficult. Some students were skeptical when they first heard about adapted tennis. Wow, tennis! How could blind people play tennis? But then I was like, well, um, the blind people um can do um anything they want. By learning how to see with their ears, these students are expanding the boundaries of what the blind can do. Terry Che, Associated Press, Fremont, California.